Hey guys, Chef Deme here. I'm on the Simply Bedrock server. It's... Oh hey, there's Gypsy. Setting up the Scarecrow here. So yeah, this is my territory. This is the area that I get to call my own. I need to figure out what I want to do here. I think the first thing I want to do is find a nice little spot within this area. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Something like this. Loved Princess Leia skin, that was hilarious. <laughs> I made a reference on Discord to Star Wars. I really think that's what that was about. I want to start, I think, with like a little ice fishing cabin, like. Thing, like right here. Got some beginner gear gifted to me. Some of it from the, I guess, free public community storage. Some of it's from Taz. He's pretty chill. He gave me a tour of the area. Crafting table. What? Lag much? Probably because I'm on ice. There we go. Stick everything in here. Collect up some dirt too. So here's my derpy little fishing cabin with all the beginning stuff coming in. Looks like I have no skills. <laughs> but yeah, so now we're just breaking the pivotal rule of Minecraft next after making a derpy cabin. We're digging straight down. The water makes this possible. You can easily break the rule of don't dig straight down. Just with water. Wanna hit lava? I hit a chasm? 
the water will flow down. It's brilliant, actually. This would be even better if I had a conduit. Well, that took a little while, but I finally found my first diamond digging under here. Didn't, well, didn't take too long. The reason I have these, oh, wow, what a vein. With iron and everything. Well, lots of coal. that this was right on a chunk border and that's against the rules I was gonna set up my I was gonna set up a uh, another portal right here but I realized something about two spaces I need to actually Alright, I'm going to contact the realm admins and find out exactly how I'm supposed to do this with my portal because they, they're very specific here on Simply Bedrock. Also, you know, I've got three diamonds. I don't know how much people sell elytra for, but I'm going to try to see if I can't purchase some elytra off of some of these players, because I know somebody's got to have one, and do a little more work. I'll be back when I'm a little more established. So, we've had a few snowfalls, and as I thought, this, well, I know it looked derpy when I started, but I, this, this is beautiful. The snowfall covers up the derpiness of it, the little bit of ice sticks out the top, which, and as you see here, ice does not, you know, it doesn't put snow on it, this particular ice, snow won't really stick to it. And, Hence why I chose to make the roof out of that, then the wood does. It's kind of cool looking for a little fishing cabin starter area. I need to replant my trees. I need to clear out my inventory. But yeah.
Things are going smoothly. I'm up to six diamonds in a diamond pick. Didn't take too long. Definitely not going to get much of anything out here. No grass, no anything like that. Gonna have to start spamming torches soon as well. Which means I'm probably gonna want to come underground and like make a sort of little tree farm. Oh, wait, that's all in my inventory. What am I doing? But yeah, it's time to start spamming some torches. So the only thing is, is I don't want to start spamming torches here because this ice will melt. As you see, like right here, I take that one out. <laughs> it immediately freezes. I need to move you. Yeah. I don't know. Like I said, I need to make an automotive tree farm, or an automotive automated tree farm underground. Yeah, losing bell. I you know what's a losing bell. But that's okay because we can start our. Uh, Torch spamming. Now, I'm not 100% sure what this is going to melt. I may have to bottom slab it all out. Oh, oh, oh. See, I'm thinking I want this to be my corner. Right here. I like the way these torches get rid of the snow, but I got a larger to do, so uh see you guys after all that. Well, I've also got to collect up a bunch of wood, and make it into coal, make it into sticks, make it into torches. So it may be a minute, just like all the digging I did underground, that that, that took a minute. Thank god for the scarecrow thing. Alright people, it's the next day, technically speaking, but as far as game playing, because I've been really busy, this is like two hours later, basically. Three hours later of mining, I found myself about 16 diamonds. I nearly broke my diamond pickaxe that I did have, because I'm an idiot and was mining with it when I shouldn't have been. <laughs> Not realizing I had it in my hand, but I have that tucked away. I have this little thing going on here, you know, I think I showed down here more. I have tunnels at Y11 like crazy right now, and I used those 16 diamonds and went on to Discord and put a shout out. I needed Elytra and some rockets, and I said I, then I left the 16 diamonds in a little payment chest, and then uh, one of the homies off of the place came by and they uh, dropped me off a shulker box with... Well, I'll show you. This was all in the shulker box right here. All these totems, the elytra, and I guess I get to keep the shulker. I mean, I did not expect all that for 60 diamond, but hey. Wait, I don't need all that. I need this. One of these. Haha, <laughs> I am...
fully equipped. I've got a cinema from dying. I haven't died yet on the server. Things are looking up. And it's almost time to start, like, making things look like something, you know? So now I can fly back, use the enchantment table at the main base. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. I'm just going to say, mistakes were made. I fell right into lava. I immediately tried to take off with the elytra. Server lag. And the wings stop working. I'm not sure I like this server idea. When I play on a realm, I don't know what it is, but I never have lag problems, never have flight problems, and I hear all these YouTubers on servers talking about their flight problems, and now I know it's a server thing. I never fall in lava. Not even in the nether. I mean, it... it everything! I have no levels. I have nothing to give to use any of the things. You see, that's what really gets me and where I'm at right now, is I have nothing to give. And, like, I spent my diamonds? The only ones I had? I have no diamond tools? Except for one diamond pickaxe and one almost broken diamond pickaxe? I have no iron now? I miss Ragecraft, I miss my beacons. I mean, I still have it. something I can eat and hopefully live. Alright guys, we're coming close to the end here of the first week on Simply Bedrock. I kind of, I don't know, I haven't really socialized with the other members of it very much, but I've been, because I've been like so focused on making a like a sustainable base thing, I've got over here berries. They're a crud food source, but really they replenish rather rapidly. You can get hurt while harvesting them, <laughs> as I just did, but it's barely anything. And with the scarecrow not letting me fish, definitely good food source. Scarecrow, it's an armor stand thing. Whoops, picked up from behind there. It's an armor stand thing sitting somewhere. I don't know exactly where Gypsy put it. She put it at, like at the center of what I decided was my claim, and it kills all the mobs in 200 radius around it. I'm gonna have that removed soon. Um, faster than I thought, but not because I've mob proofed, but because it's annoying. It keeps you from fishing. Keeps you from having a passive mob farm. It's just annoying. <laughs> So we've also got ourselves this roof here is at seven to make us a little miniature micro tree farm. Some more vines, vines over there. I've got this thing going on, which is one of my favorite farms that I ever made, and I modified it. I made, it, I, I think I made it better. Just click this button. Do, 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 do. A little bit of a delay there, but that's so that it has time to. Just pop everything up. Ah, that's just beautiful. A little bit of server lag, as you see. And it'll all just end up in here. Okay. And turn off on its own. Other than that, I just have some like huge chasms from just trying to mine diamonds so unsuccessfully. I mean, it's like, what, what is this, like a diamond free server? You know, after losing that elytra, it's horrible. I know. I need to get me some blade. Ooh, there's coal behind me. I need to get me some blaze powder, blaze rod, make me up a potion stand, make me up some lightweight potions, and hoping by tomorrow to go and see if I can't farm the dragon in hard mode. For me, that's a little bit of a new experience. 
I usually play on easy. I fought the dragon in various, you know, difficulties, but I'm gonna try to see if I can't own him with my techniques with cruddy gear is the best way to put it. So not much left to you know on that. My week's coming the first week's coming to an end, and then I'm going to edit up all my clips together that I've got from it, put it together, and hopefully we have ourselves something. Like I said, the week is coming to an end here. This is going to be, I think, the last day I'm shooting this week for Simply Bedrock. It's a nice little server of Slap Wizards. I got all my little micro farms going up for the first, in this first week, especially the vines. I extended and extended and extended. Got that little cactus thing going on. Mostly because, you know, it's like really easy to get your hands on blue dye and cactus are valuable for getting the green dye so you can make cyan dye really important, like coloring, cyan terracotta, cyan concrete, all sorts of different things. They're just like epic, you know, really useful. I love the color cyan in Minecraft for like all the different things. I mean, technically, they the jewel on the crown of my head. But so I've been collecting up these like crazy. I mean, I don't have a lot like stored away because I've been making mossy cobblestone. I got a little bit of mossy stone bricks and I'm making some stone, a collection of stone bricks up here. Because. I'm gonna try and see if that's not something that can sell on the server, I mean, think about it. The work it takes to make up some stone bricks, not that difficult, you know, especially if you've got like a silk touch mending pickaxe, but mossy stone bricks, mossy cobble. You gotta collect the vines, put them together, all that different stuff. It's a renewable resource but not an easily obtainable resource. And after a bit of work, I've got my nether portal area linked up and put up. And I moved the portal from way down below to proper height. And dug out my tunnel. Lots of people, lots of people offered to help me on it, but I figured it wasn't that difficult. And it turned out not to be. I just had to die a bunch until I got everything high enough and figured out what I was doing. I had to get back to spawn to find my way back to my base. So it, it was an interesting concept. This is a tunnel that was already dug. I blocked that off that way because it was blocked it off this way. It was already dug like this. It's a continuation of the main tunnel. And so I just kind of, you know, I think this is somebody's like nether brick and nether quartz gathering. Alright boys and girls, this is the end of week one. Last little tiny clip of Simply Bedrock for my first week. So, we ended with a massive amount of vine collection. Because I think I know how I'm going to get diamonds. That's right, diamonds on the server without having to mine them. Now this is, granted, a lot of work, but I'm producing so many vines now, all I have to do is sit here for a minute and he's all like filled up like crazy. And it's so much work to do that I figure something like this, if you get another 64 to finish that off, need quite a bit of bees to finish off, but I'm working on it. Stone bricks, making myself some stone, so I can make myself some more stone brick, so that I can make myself some more mossy stone brick, 
more mossy cobblestone, all, you know, all of the above going on with all of this stuff here, here, here. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it's just like the two seconds that I was doing that, all that grew and it grew my back turned to it. Just all over. That's going to be so useful. I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a bunch of observers. These things that take work to like collect up the materials and build, but you can automate them. And I'm going to try and sell off just the things you can't really truly automate, at least not on bedrock. I don't need to sell many. I just need a couple of diamonds because that'll get me, you know, all my tools and stuff. Use up the use the guardian farm that they have. Brew my own potions for it. That way, I really don't have to donate because it costs nothing. I gave two potions the last time I used it. The potions of damage too, just as like a thank you for using it. Here's two bonus potions for you because I only needed one of three. But I can just make up a bunch of those. Use the guardian farm for the levels. Oh, it's a sapling. I was like, why is there a vinyl floating over there? I, uh, digging down a little bit, uh, failed attempt to get some jungle trees to grow. I think I need to widen this up up here. Love my little system here. I think I've shown it a few times. The taller all these are, the more, like, if these in the back are taller, the more accurate it is because they get a speed and pick up stuff as they come down. I got some bamboo, a couple of chickens walking around for eggs. I only have one. I, I, I tried to catch these guys in the thing and I failed miserably. Um, but I figured out a better way to do it. For catching them so they're not wandering around. I mean, I'm going to see them. Oh, duh. I guess some seed and lure these guys down here. Here, but I really want them in here. Whoops. You see, I tried to shoot it from like back here and he came down. I'm an idiot. But yeah, this is it. This is me about to log off. Day seven on Simply Bedrock. Not bad for the first week, I guess. I mean, I got a lot of resources here. Let me show you like the observers and stuff I've crafted up. Ooh, cool. I have over 64. But, like, this is all the valuable stuff. I can sell these things. Sell some repeaters. Blocks of coal. You know, things that take some work to get together. And that might actually get me some diamonds. I'll have to turn it, make a store specifically for selling that stuff, but I also have worked out, there that's full, um, here, these are the materials I'm going to use, I might get some fence posts to work in there, some lanterns maybe, if I can get up some more iron, but I'm going to build a bigger store, and I think I'm going to call it something like the still stone, or the unroll pre-rolled stone, um, because like, you know that the old saying, a rolling stone collects no moss, and I'm just going to make it look like a rock, and you buy in the rock, you know, it, it, it's going to look cool, but that'll be the first project probably on like the episode, because I've almost got enough of these, so my week two diary of being on Simply Bedrock will be me building my store. It's going to be simple. This is simply bedrock, so I'm going to be simple. Don't want to be like my rage mega builds. <laughs> Alright guys, tune in next time to Chef Deme. Simply bedrock. And don't forget to also watch some like Ragecraft when I release Ragecraft. That's like my, my own private 